I got my boat here at the house now. And uh, what I thought I would do, now uh, I did this a while back and I've got the uh, shot cord a little bit too short right now, but I bought this little uh, Ronstad. This is not a cheap, believe it or not, that little bitty thing is like $20 if I remember right. You know, all this stuff is ridiculous. But anyway, what I'm gonna do today is uh, I'm gonna make this a, uh, what they call a high-low trapeze, uh, no cut. And so this is what, this is what I made here. And uh, so I just took and put a shackle up here I bought this and I'll, I'll list all these parts in the description, but uh, I think this was about $20. It's, it's made by Sea Dog. It's called a Clam Cleat Trapeze with Vang Cleat. So basically what it does, and I've got a stop here and then I've got a just uh, honestly, I just got this off of one of my little uh, bungee cords. Those are like six for a dollar, or um, six, six for four or five dollars. So yeah, you just pull this, and this gives you like a what three and two and one or something purchase. I forget. I guess it's well, there's two, two, sh uh, two blocks. So maybe it's I don't know. You tell me. Maybe. Maybe three in one. Anyway, um, so yeah. Anyway, uh, so I moved the uh, the little Ronstad down here. I had bought I bought two of these, but heck, these things are so big. It winds up making the thing so that it's really. Uh, you can't really go any uh, higher than like right up in here. This this actually allows me to go much higher with it with <laughs> with it like this. So anyway, yeah. See, I can go like that's over a foot uh, above. You know, so that'll just make it easy to get up and down. And then you can once you get out there, you can lower it. So anyway. That's the idea. That might help me uh, do this a little better. So yeah, but I don't even think I'm gonna need these things cause like I say, that takes up too much. And so I, I've already done this one and I thought I would just go ahead and do this other one. And then that way you can kinda see exactly what I'm doing. All right, so let me get all my tools over there. I think that's all I need. Oh, except for the for this. Okay, so yeah. Uh, sun might be might be a little blinding there. Alright, so I'm gonna open this thing up first. So we'll need that. Alright, now. So I'm gonna take this, well, I'll take this loose first. All right, now, we've got a little, little bitty screw going through here. Believe it or not, this thing, I think it'll hold like 500 pounds. So, it it's small. It's actually, I think they call it a, a, uh, mini bullet or something shackle but it, it's real strong and it's got ball bearings and everything in it so it makes it expensive so i'm gonna want that i don't want that uh i'll just cut that i want that uh stop okay, and the shackle that's a bowl and I should be able to untie that. It's one good thing about a bowling. 
Get the things untied. Okay. Now it's kind of bent crazy, but anyway, I ain't gonna worry about that right now. Yeah, I guess you see where it is now. Okay, so we'll go ahead and get this ready. And bring it over here. <laughs> if I can reach it. I can't reach it. Okay, so you know what? This is awfully high over there. Maybe I'll just do it over here. It's actually the right direction anyway for the camera. Okay, let's try this again. So we're going to bring everything over there. And this and that. I think that's it. Okay. wire kind of wants to come this way anyway okay so we're gonna want the shackle first all right so there's the shackle and then we're gonna get the clam cleat and we're going to put it just like that. Put the shackle in there. Uh-oh. No, this way. And I'll, I'll tighten that up with a uh, crescent wrench. Okay, so now I'm gonna take, and I'm gonna do, right here, I'm gonna do a uh, figure eight. So to do a figure eight, I'm just gonna, that's called a bite. Then I'm gonna do one, two. I'm gonna bring that up there. And that makes a little figure eight. And then that's a good stopper knot. All right, so now let's see. Uh, all right, now I'm gonna do the uh, the shackle, the little little bullet shackle. All right, and then we'll come through here just like that. Now, flip it over like that. I'm gonna take the the little. Let's see which side's got the threads. This little thing here. Right up in there. That's all there is to it, almost. So now we're gonna take the, the um, let's see, which direction. I wanna go from this side, I think. Or no, I'll go this way. Okay, and then through there. Bring it up here and let's say we wanted it 
to go real low. So probably wouldn't ever want it to go past there. Wouldn't guess. Um, we'll go up and through. All right. So now, all right, just like that. Then we're going to make it a little longer and we'll put, we'll cut it here. Hmm. Kind of shredded, shredded it. Uh, I don't know that that's going to be any better. This knife. I've let this knife get so dull. I don't know that this ain't gonna work because it, it's too dull. I need like a razor blade or something. is I've got several things that will cut actually this here might work let's try this all right that's not too bad Wet your finger before you do that. Okay, now I'll just take this out and pull it all the way through. Put this on there. And I'm gonna do another, well, yeah, I guess I'll try a figure eight. There's enough room. Okay. So, just move that in there. Now, honestly, uh, as you see, I've got my bungee cord attached up here. I made a mistake yesterday. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, okay. When I, when I put the... Uh, let's see if it'll reach up there. Okay. I had the, I had the shock cord attached up here problem with doing that is all this especially if you've got it out it remains floppy and you don't want this this needs to be under tension because this helps keep this in your uh harness hook okay uh, when this is under tension so you don't want the shock cord up here and that was a mistake on my part. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna redo this and I'm gonna do it like I did it over here. Okay, so all I did is I took the little shackle off the uh, 
the block okay and then i put it by itself and then i i've just got this called a beckett bin with a a stopper knot and then i got a figure eight here with a little bowling okay so now if i want it if i want to adjust it i can adjust it here and that's still i don't know it's about a good foot i would say i haven't measured it but i would say at least a foot there between so and then if you want to go down see it'll go it'll go way on down so yeah i think that that's going to work better and now you're going to keep this this ring is going to be held tight at all times so it's not going to have a chance of getting off your harness so i, I think that's going to work better so anyway let's uh let's do the other one and then i'll you'll see exactly what i'm talking about so i'm gonna go to this side all right so we're just gonna i'm gonna do this one the same way all right and i don't know i guess i'll leave that up there that'll help hold that over on the here on this side so we've got a little screw and i looked it up last night this little block has got a 550 pound working load with a i think it's 1250 pound braking so believe it or not this thing is pretty strong amazing that something this small could take that kind of force all right that's that so yeah I'm just gonna take and I'm gonna do well still got a little bit of wind here Lick your fingers for that, or they'll burn. Okay, so I'm gonna just do a little overhand knot here. So this is just gonna be just a small knot, small stopper knot. Okay, all right, so then I'm gonna take the ring and this is a Beckett band. So you go up underneath, around, and underneath. Okay. So, yeah, it sits just like that. And that makes it real small. All right. Now we're gonna just go through here. And I'm gonna make it as tight as I can because this really doesn't have to have any kind of a, uh, an adjustment. All my adjustment will be up there. So now I'm gonna do a figure eight. So that's that's one and that's two. I'm, I want to try to make it as tight as I can. So the tighter I can keep that up there, the higher I can make this this thing. Alright, 
that's about as high as I can get it right there. All right, and then I'm gonna do a small bowling. So I'm gonna go through there. Go underneath there. And then we're going to go back down. Through here. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to burn it. That's it. Now, take the hook, and honestly, I don't, I don't think I have to, I don't have to uh, do anything with my lines now, I don't believe, well, they almost go under there, but they don't, so yeah, that's awfully low, I shouldn't really ever need it that low, really, I wouldn't <laughs> be, I'm just curious now how, how low that would be. That'd probably be having me laying out and being actually down at an angle. So now, yeah, so now this hook's always gonna be under tension. And that way, I should never be able to get out of that hook. Hope this has helped, helped somebody. And I mean, if you're planning on doing a, an adjustable trapeze and that that would certainly save you some money so i'll talk to you later y'all have a good one